Welcome to another video from Guaylao 60. Um, over the next three weeks, well actually I'm at the end of that three week time period so I can tell you what uh, is coming on the channel here over the next three weeks. Uh, the, the, the first trip I'm taking is to Yunnan, Shanxi province and uh, that is the headquarters of the Communist Party between 1936 and 1947. Back during the occupation of the Japanese in China. And it's way, way off the beaten path. And why is it off the beaten path? Because uh, they wanted to get as far away from the Japanese as they possibly could. Um, it, was, it was dangerous times in China. Uh, and, uh, and I'm going to be covering that in those videos. The next, the next place uh, that I'm going, actually, it's also in Yunnan area, is where Xi Jinping got sent to the countryside. When he, got, when he was 15 years old, uh, because of the Cultural Revolution and, and the, the doctrine of that time, they, uh, they decided that all of these young guys are going to the countryside and going to learn how to, to farm and do the, the animal husbandry and all of the things that... Uh, that uh, make food for for your countrymen and uh, we're visiting the caves that he lived in there's a couple of them there in the community and it's sort of been turned into uh, a tourist place but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you a lot about that just for the fact that the video is coming up and uh, it will be over the next couple of weeks and then uh, from there I fly to Xi'an and then I fly from Xi'an to Ulamuchi Yurimchi. Uh, it's a, it's a, in Xinjiang province, actually the capital city of Xinjiang province. And uh, we're doing some videoing there. And we're, we're going to be looking around that area. I'm, uh, spoiler alert, uh, I'm not going to really be talking about the genocide thing, the re-education camps, the things that people are saying that China hasn't done. What I'm going to be showing you is what China has done. Okay, from Ulamuchi, uh, we uh, get on a plane and we're off to Kashgar. Kashgar is a place that's along pretty close to the border of places like uh, Turkestan, Kazakhstan, uh, and uh, only about a half a day's drive away from Afghanistan. So, and it's like we're, we're talking uh, in the middle of desert, uh, camel farms and all of these things. So that's a very super interesting place out of, uh, out of the whole trip. I think the Kashgar probably has the most interest for somebody like me. Uh, then then uh, we uh, jump another airplane and we're off to Hutian, in, also in uh, Xinjiang, autonomous region in uh, the northeastern part of China. Uh, all of the, the political uh, uh, rhetoric that's been coming out of the West about this place, you'll see from my videos and, and uh, make up your own mind if, if it's true or not. And that's, that's up to you guys. And uh, as soon as I'm done in Hutian, then we're off to all the way across the country guys and girls we're off to Fuzhou, Fujian province and uh, we're gonna be cruising around there for a little bit checking out the city seeing what's what's good and and uh, you know just sort of getting acquainted with the with the place and uh, then we're off to uh, Ningda it's uh, about two hours north of, uh, of Fuzhou and then we end up in a place like this CP village right on the coast of uh, of China where the boat people used to live so I've been really really busy I haven't been home in about two weeks right now we've got another three four days to go on on this trip before if nothing else comes up and uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're sponsored trips. Uh, I, don't, I don't get paid for these trips, but I, I do get my hotels and, and transportation uh, comped for going around and making videos. And what we're doing here is we're promoting poorer areas of China, trying to um, show you what it's like here. And maybe by doing that, you'll want to travel here and uh, as, as a tourist and spend tourist dollars uh, helping these poor areas get richer through your tourist dollars. Uh, bringing more people in, employing with tourism, uh, employs more people in the tourism trade, uh, makes it better for these communities that we're, that we're going 
to and through type thing. And uh, I think that's one of the most important things about what we do here in, in mainland China with the, with the camera in our hand. And there's another guy with a camera in his hand. <laughs> but uh, you know, the, the tourism of a place like, just say this one here, is the, the potential is really, really high. Just for the fact that it's so close to so many big cities that uh, you're not gonna have a problem finding people to come here. Uh, it's just making something that they want to come and see, want to come in and experience, and uh, and and that's part of uh, part and parcel of it. Here's here's a famous uh, tuber. Uh, what's your name? I forgot. <laughs> My name is Guilao. Guilao, <laughs> and I and I'm Robert. Uh, I uh, I have uh, a lot of uh, Chinese fans. Uh, but I can't speak Chinese. Hey, that's me, bro. Oh, you speak Chinese. <laughs> so my name is Robert from Ghana, and my um, Douyin account name is Gobi Lawai. It's actually similar to your name, Guela. Yeah, but uh, there, there's 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 no other Guela but me. You know, I got, And there is I, no I, other Gobi Lawai but uh, me. Right? Yeah, but you know, I got copyright on Guela, right? I also have copyright. So all all of those Cantonese people that call people Guela. So one of these days, I'm gonna get my revenge. Call me when you're doing that. We can share. You can split the bill. <laughs> exactly. So don't forget to go to his channel and check it out. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a link in the description below yeah. so that you can go check out his stuff. Thanks. You gonna Thanks send so me much. some links, man? I'm surely gonna do that, bro. Okay. Far out. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go in this video and then I'm gonna go looking for an ice cold tall boy because this is a fishing village. They obviously drink beer. The beer goes with the ISIS. Exactly. <laughs> hey, thanks, Robert. Yeah, thank you. Welcome. Hey, and that's another video from Guilao60. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, push that share button. Don't forget to resubscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell like button. Did I say resubscribe? That's because YouTube keeps deleting my subscribers. Uh, I don't know why they don't like me, but hey, I'm all over Chinese social media now, so it really doesn't make much difference. And uh, whatever you do, don't forget to put a couple bucks in the children's patron account. It's for a good cause. Check this out. This is where I am today. God, I love my life. Peace out. Bye now. Here we go. On a speedboat. Off the coast of Fujian province in mainland China. Surrounded by mountains. Yeah, I love my life. Stuff is fun, fun, fun. 115 horse Yamaha on this boy. I think we're in an 18 footer. Fiberglass hole. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>